Bible says those, those things are things of, those are infancy. They should not even be heard of. You're supposed to have grown from there. You can keep your health. Let me tell you when you plug in, when you plug into the Lord, you keep your health. Yes. By the way, you keep your health. Hmm? I mean, the thing is, you've seen the tremendous healing going on in this ministry right now. Then, you know, you cannot claim that God does not heal. God has done his part. He does his part all the time. He's faithful. So don't start running to some psychologists. In the modern churches of Nairobi, pastors are stepping out of pastoring to go first to Bible college to be trained counseling and psychological, eh? how to counsel people. Stepping out of the world into the wisdom of the world, psychologist. So they may now do, do, I feel the Lord is calling me to a counseling ministry. So I need to go study a degree in psychology. Stepping out of the word of God into the wisdom of the world so you may bring it and it will become a yeast in this world. Isn't there a problem in the church? And yet the word is so clear. I saw them enter and they were being told, shut the door behind you for a little while. You see that? Inside there is hidden the door to the rapture. And that's why he was able to say, like it was during the time of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. But before we go there, let's go just to Daniel chapter 12, precious people. The door to the rapture. Daniel chapter 12. Hallelujah. Verse 1. Hallelujah. He says, At that time, Michael, the great prince, who protects your people, will arise. You see that? There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. Because you know, Daniel was writing from the east. He was, Daniel is a prophet of the Lord that was called in the east. So he wrote his manuscripts and they were in the east. But he was an end time prophet. So he was seeing what was happening in the end time. And he had seen that there would be distress. That's why he said, such as has never been, such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then, until then, when that moment will come. Look at the flood we see today. Historic, never ever seen before. Look at the Myanmar. Huh? The cyclone. And then the Chinese quake, and then the floods. Look at what's happened in the United States today. Look at the blood flow Kenya went through. Look at the global famine that is going to sting the earth now. It's already stinging in Egypt. They're falling in the lines as waiting for bread. Hmm? As has never been seen, never since the beginning of nations until then. That's the beginning of birth pains. And then he says, but at that time, your people, do you hear that? We say, my people. You are people. Did you see that you are people? They're my people. God's word is the same. The Holy Spirit is the same. He cannot show me a vision that's not lining with the Bible. He showed it to me in November 26, 2006. He showed it to Daniel the prophet. He showed it to, to Isaiah the prophet. He showed the same Holy Spirit. It is very consistent. It must tally. Otherwise, God has not spoken. <coughs> You cannot teach other things. Only this you can teach. Because the purpose for which you were called as pastors is that you may lead the church into the kingdom of God, period. Anything else is an addition. Isn't it? That they may enter. Otherwise, then why are you... You're not called to lead them to hell. Huh? But listen to this. He says, but you are... I like that. But at that time, you are people. That's the my people you saw 
in Isaiah chapter 26. It is the same my people he defines in Zechariah 13. And he says, But at that time you are people, everyone whose name is found written in the book. Hallelujah. The book of life. Those are the ones he has purified. Huh? And he says, Everyone whose name is found written in the book will be delivered. Hallelujah. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, wake up, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens and those who lead many into righteousness will shine like the stars forever and ever. This is rapture. If it's so clear in the Bible, why hasn't the church taught it? Why would even someone contest such a message? A timely message, somebody. Right? So the Lord is speaking here very clearly. He's talking about the mighty dot rapture. You see very clearly that a lot of distress hits the earth. And suddenly, everything has happened. You know, I kept wondering, by the way, why every time I get to the altar, I have seen myself already in the dream at night that I'm preaching. And when I get there, I begin to preach the way I saw myself in the dream. I began to understand. Every time the first thing I see is I am getting the altar and saying, on the 1st of November, the year 2006, the Lord, he opened heaven and I saw two wedding rings, Lord. The first thing, whether it's in Canada, whether it's in Germany, whether it's in Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, where it does not matter. The first thing he says, I began to understand. That means like it was during the time of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. At the time of Noah, he sent Noah. He says, tell them the door is open. Tell them to enter now. Don't delay out there. Because on that day, I just come to close. Hallelujah. He sent me, in other words, to tell them, look, the door is open in the sky. You can enter now. The wise virgins, they lit their lamps, they entered and entered. Hallelujah. They lit the lamps here and entered with it there into eternity. The wedding gown you prepare today is the same wedding gown you enter with into